Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women more on what you can do with your whole food nutrition to match it to your hormones, your body, to get and keep a better result with whatever goal that you have. I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon right now. And the new book, The Female Menopause Solution, eee, this is coming out on Wednesday, just a few days, you guys. So I'm gonna put this in the comments right now. I know this is a little later, but if you guys are catching the replay, let me know. And if you're catching the replay, then it's only gonna be a couple of days till it's live. All the amazing, amazing information that women need when they are trying to match their nutrition to their hormonal body and menopause, totally different ball game, which I will get into. I'm also the creator of the 12 week challenge. So there's also a link in the comments where you can get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. Um, this is the journal that goes through every little bit of the 12 week challenge. So you can get um, the latest and greatest information and stay up to date on your progress throughout that challenge. It's pretty fun. I have a podcast, the female health solution and YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy to subscribe to so that you can stay updated as well. And if you find this video helpful, I would so love and appreciate you clicking that share button because so many women don't know this information that is really important. And sometimes it's these little differences, the little tweaks that you make, little shift in focus that changes everything for you, honestly. So I'm going to talk about this. And this is something that, again, when we talk about for different phases of life for women, whether you're struggling with fertility, I, you know, have things in the 12 week for that, whether you're just struggling with like your hormones and cycle and stress and weight, we talk about that. And then specifically again, menopause, I have a 12 week um, challenge for menopause as well as, you know, the book coming out. And one of the things that I wanted to touch on with menopause and why women who, when they're like, Oh my gosh, I I'm in menopause or I'm in perimenopause or I'm, I'm going through this hormonal change and I've gained weight and I just got to lose the weight. Right. And every other tactic that you're going to pull in that worked before, of course, now you have a different body. When your body goes through menopause, you have a different body, right? You, everything is different, right? Chemically, hormonally, everything is different. And if all of a sudden you were just to go back to the same old things that you did before to lose weight, it's not going to work. The average gal actually gains seven to 10 pounds just going through menopause, just from that hormonal shift. Great, right? Oh, super duper. <laughs> But it's true, right? You didn't necessarily do anything different. You didn't, you know, change anything. You didn't stop going to the gym and start eating pies all day. It is literally just your hormonal system changes so much. So you gain seven to 10 pounds. And a lot of women will jump to right away. Holy cow, I gained weight. I need to do what I need to do to take it off. And you're actually looking at it kind of backwards. Your new body, menopausal body needs different nutrients first. So the biggest mistake that women make in menopause when they gain weight with menopause is that, is that they look right to that weight loss first. And that's the wrong place to start because you're still doing everything for that body that you had before menopause, right? You need to start with, okay, what does my new body need? What nutrients does my new body need? Because when you fuel your system correctly, you're able to actually boost your metabolism correctly. Oh my gosh, correctly. And then it's a completely different ball game from there. So when we're talking about nutrients and we're talking about getting your system the right things, one of the number one things that I find women are missing is getting enough protein in every day. So protein is the, you know, number one nutrient, you know, overall. But then when your body actually goes through menopause, you actually need more protein to do the same job that protein used to do. So if you're like, yeah, I'm eating the same, I'm eating the same amount of proteins, then that's actually wrong. You need anywhere, I mean, and this is depending, right? Anywhere from 20 grams, maybe even up to 40 grams more of protein every day than what you were getting before. So this is an increase. Let me just squeeze this little arrow in there of this much protein a day. And it can come from a lot of different sources. I recommend, um, you know, a lot of whole food, you know, proteins, uh, balanced proteins, complete proteins, right? That you've got all the amino acids that your system needs because when your body's under stress and how menopause women deal with stress, you don't make some of the amino acids that you normally make, whole other thing and system behind that. But basically it boils down to 
you need more protein every single day and it needs to be and it can be as easy as getting an extra protein shake or an extra protein bar easy as that but it needs to be more every single day because your body needs more how it processes through things is completely different yeah so that's the starter and this is something that we go through in the 12-week challenge so again if you're like oh my gosh holy cow i didn't know that i'm, I'm doing this wrong get on the get on the wait list for it there's a ton of great sneak peek things that you'll be able to start on right now in the 12 week challenge. So get on that wait list. <laughs> but protein, super easy thing to fix. And this changes a ton of things for women right away. So first thing right there for nutrients, don't start with just weight loss. You actually have to get more protein. Then all these other things that you're going to do later to try and lose weight, they'll actually work because you're supporting your body with the nutrients it needs. Crazy, right? Another thing that the menopausal body needs more of is it actually needs more things like minerals, electrolytes, right? Not just salts and things like that, but all other electrolytes and minerals, magnesium being one of them, calcium, right? Potassium, all these things, your, your menopausal body needs more. And if you're not getting enough, you can feel tired. There's a whole list of things, right? Like this is, I feel like a three hour lecture almost on what, what goes on in your body if you're not getting enough minerals. But Again, in terms of losing weight, a lot of times people think, oh, I got to do this thing. I got to get on the treadmill. That's what's going to help me getting on the treadmill. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Mm -mm. Get your body the thing it needs first, right? You can't drive a, ga a car on an empty gas tank. You can't drive a car on an empty gas tank. Stop trying. <laughs> That's what women in menopause are doing, right? And these are all things that I'm going over in my book. That's again, released on Wednesday. Um, but again, I want to say these are very basic things, but they make the biggest difference ever for women. When you realize, oh my gosh, this isn't hard. I've just been sort of running around in circles with it. You know what I mean? I want to pick a different color. I want to pick for the next one that I'm going to talk about. Mm -hmm. The next one here I want to talk about is carbs. Now, oh, again, a lot of women, when they go through menopause, they stop eating carbs or they cut a lot of carbs out. And the truth is, is that your body actually just processes them differently. So you need to make sure that they're balanced. Yes, you still need some fruits. There are great phytonutrients and other um, micronutrients in fruits and veggies and things like that. And a lot of times women get terrified of fruit. I've worked with a gal. She was like, oh, I haven't had a piece of fruit in like five years. I was like, why do you not like fruit? Oh, I love fruit. I just, it makes me fat. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> No, it doesn't, <laughs> right? It's all about that balance. It's all about getting your system what it needs in a balance. And again, when your body goes through menopause, it does process carbs differently. doesn't mean it doesn't process them. It just processes them differently. So you need to make sure you're having that balance of carb. Don't cut it out. That's not going to lead to good results. If you just cut it out, it's got to have that balance there. Get your minerals in and make sure you're getting enough protein because this, this is the foundation. This is the building block blocks that you need to go through to really start looking at losing weight then. Without this, I mean, you can try all the fancy, you know, fasting things or other weight loss things you want. You, you can eat clean, the best salads every day, clean salads every day, spend two hours on the treadmill. It's not going to work. Now, the other caveat that I will tell you is that when you get these basics down, you will feel it. You will notice the difference. It also can take time for your system to fully upload this. So also remember to be patient. There is a lot of stuff that happens in your body when it goes through menopause. And again, I talk about this in this book and thinking about this, this transition phase of life, right? It's like puberty backwards right? Puberty in reverse, right? That, that totally changed your body and didn't onset overnight, right? It can take time for that to happen. It still takes time for this to happen. But eating for this new body makes things a lot easier and it makes it really effective then when you are implementing weight loss tactics that are safe and effective for women that are in menopause. So, that's what I got for you guys tonight. These are some basic things though. I'm gonna be talking a lot more about this for the next few days until the book comes out. I'm super, super excited. So let me know if you have any questions. Please don't hesitate to click the links in the comments below so that you can get on the wait list for the book for the next 12 week challenge that I'm already starting to fill actually. 
really excited about this next challenge group. Um, but of course, I'm here as a resource for you. So if you have any questions or need any help, don't hesitate. Otherwise, have a great night and I will see you guys later.